Good morning. It's Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Has God Forgotten to be Gracious? And our scripture is Psalm 77. I cry out to God, yes, I shout, oh, that God would listen to me. When I was in deep trouble, I searched for the Lord. All night long I prayed with hands lifted towards heaven, but my soul was not comforted. I think of God and I moan, overwhelmed with longing for his help. You don't let me sleep. I'm too distressed even to pray. I think of the good old days long since ended when my nights were filled with joyful songs. I search my soul and ponder the difference now. Has the Lord rejected me forever? Will he never again be kind to me? Is his unfailing love gone forever? Have his promises permanently failed? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he slammed the door on his compassion? And I said, This is my fate. The Most High has turned his hand against me. But then I recall all you've done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They're constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. O God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. By your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the Red Sea saw you, O God, its waters looked and trembled. The sea quaked to its very depths. The clouds poured down rain. The thunder rumbled in the sky. Your arrows of lightning flashed. Your thunder roared from the whirlwind. The lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your road led through the sea, your pathway through the mighty waters, a pathway no one knew was there. You led your people along that road like a flock of sheep with Moses and Aaron as their shepherds. Has God forgotten to be gracious? Hmm. If the psalmist is anything like Russell, as soon as those words dropped from his pen to the paper, he wished he'd never thought it. Even now, I have trouble asking a question like that. But Scripture and the gracious character of God always invite us to ask the hard questions. Asking those hard questions, hard questions, is almost a natural response during hard times. And nothing about this decade of the 20s is starting off anything but hard. The 20th century had its roaring 20s. The 21st century has a meek meow of COVID-19 and economic distress. Amid the pain, separation, frustration, and unanswered questions and prayers, the uneasy suspicion that lingers in the middle of sleepless nights is, where is this God who is supposed to answer our call for help? The easy or quick answer You're not asking the right questions, or say please, or say it right, not wrong, or wait. Now these are all easy to roll off the lips, and they have some truth. We do ask selfishly or out of God's will. We ask sometimes as if in demanding. We ask without willingness to hear or be patient. The hard answer, hard to hear, accept, or hold on to, is that we might be praying without repentance. We just might be calling for justice as if we're innocent and deserving of better than what we've got. In the court system, you can plead to charges in one of two basic ways, guilty or innocent. When you plead innocent, it amounts to saying you have not transgressed the law. You're innocent. (laughs) You're asking for justice which is reserved for those who have completely obeyed. The other possibility is pleading guilty and throwing oneself on the mercy of the court. Because our system of jurisprudence is largely based upon the law as found in Holy Scripture, that is, Deuteronomy, Leviticus, we also find our answer in heaven's courts. Scripture, from Genesis to Revelation, tells the story our story, and how there's not a righteous person, read that, without guilt, in the universe. 
The only possibility for expecting an answer from heaven requires confession with repentance. Frankly, given how alien that thought is in 21st century culture, is it any surprise that heaven is silent to the questions we ask or the so-called prayers we offer, which are, more accurately, thinly veiled demands for justice? Now, if the hard answer is indeed hard to hear, accept, and hold on to, well, good. This is not a time for easy answers. So, let's play big boy and big girl and get real. Here's how. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. For you today, that God who is gracious, he's just waiting for real. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.